Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Bionic Pigeon here, and today I'm playing Angry Birds Space. You'll probably notice already that I have a lot of um, ang uh, I have a lot of space eagles in the top left corner as I'm playing this game. You're gonna see I have a lot of space eagles, and I am gonna use some space eagles as I go through some of these missions because I just don't feel like beating them, or I just don't want to go through the hassle of reloading the or like restarting the whole level and then beating it again in front of you guys on recording so that's why i um decided to just use space eagles in this game and this game is really fun to me i like how they added a new twist to angry birds with the whole gravity thing it's really new and fresh in my opinion and i'm playing uh the second world after the pig bang one which is like the ice world or whatever and I did beat all the levels of this game on my phone, but then I lost all my data. So then I just decided to get Angry Bird Space on my iPod and then uh, record it and show it to you guys. Because, yeah, I lost all my data, so I decided to share my experience of Angry Bird Space with you guys as I go through and beat all these levels again. So I hope you guys enjoy it. This game, if you didn't know by now, is 99 cents. This game is just way too popular for what it is, in my opinion, but I guess because it to me, it, I guess it's just everywhere now. Like, you see Angry Birds snacks, Angry Birds shirts, like, Angry Birds lollipops, and, like, Angry Birds shoes, maybe. I don't know. Like, everything seems to be, like, in Angry Birds form. This game is seriously everywhere, and it's just always, like, in the top 25 constantly, and there's, like, four different ones of them, and I know for sure, like, those four are always, like, in the top 50 at least. And this game is just w insanely successful, way too many downloads, um, I read online that this game got like 100 million downloads, just Angry Birds Space itself, and this game came out in like March 22nd, so that's really crazy, um, these guys are definitely making a lot of money off of this game, uh, so I guess good job Rovio, and yeah, I guess you guys got beat, beat everybody else to the whole 99 cents, give updates for more levels, more value for your money thing. I want to say that the reason this game is so successful is one, it does give you a lot of value for your money with like the levels constantly coming out for the game and stuff and two because the art and I mean like the art and like the way the birds look and the pigs and the just the art style of the game and the graphics and stuff like that are just very kid friendly and I'm guessing that's how another way this game became so successful is because all these kids want to buy this game now and birds look so kitty and friendly and so cartoony and stuff so that's why they just want to go buy this game they're like whoa angry birds and they see all these angry birds merchandise everywhere and then they tell their parents to go buy these angry birds merchandises for them then they start wearing angry birds shirts and like angry birds watches maybe or angry birds backpacks and then before you know it angry birds is everywhere and then rovio's flown in even more money the company itself, I know, is worth more than like $1.2 billion, which is insane, because I know this because EA tried to buy them out, and they were only offering a billion, but then Rovio said that they were, they were worth more than that, and they were right. I feel like Rovio, like the guys, Rovio, the guys who made this game, are in probably one of the best situations any gaming company could be in, because honestly, there is no used way to buy Angry Birds, so they're constantly making money as somebody buys this game, and money is constantly going to them, and the only way that you can buy this game is digitally, and there's no, like, used version of it, so money's always going to them, and they're always in the top 25, and, like, Angry Birds Space is always in the top 10, at least one of their Angry Birds games is, like, always in the top 10, so you know for sure that they're making a lot of money every day, and no used sales, so they're always getting money every day, and I know for a fact it's 66 cents, because Apple takes one-third, of money of the sales of every app so they take one third of it so then they can use that money to help keep the app store up and alive and going so that's how i know that but still 66 cents as you if you add up that to how many sales angry birds has that's an insane amount i totally believe that they're worth like more than 1.2 billion dollars it's really plausible i would even say rovio is in a better position than call of duty because if you think about it, there's not really that much Call of Duty merchandise everywhere, and there is used copies of Call of Duty, so they don't make money off of every game sale, but it's not like you see, like, Call of Duty gummy snacks or, like, Call of Duty lollipops or any type of Call of Duty candy, but you see, like, all these other Angry Birds types of merchandise, so they even make more money off of that stuff, like, off of these items aside from the game, and they have, like, the Angry Birds soundtrack or, like, Angry Birds cookbook, like, how insane is that? You know, their own cookbook, and they're probably making tons of money off of that, too, all from these kids wanting to buy the game, and then these adults, too, these, like, non- 
non gamers or like these casual people who just see this game on like every phone they just heard about it from their friends they just probably pick up a phone and they see that in the top 25 and they're like wow this game is everywhere i just gotta buy it and try it out they try it out they become addicted to the simple formula and then of all the levels they just keep on playing with the new levels coming out and they just become addicted to this game and that's how angry birds appeals to people i guess it's the most casual game and easy game ever Actually, no, I wouldn't say it's the easiest game ever, maybe, but it's the most, like, user-friendly. It's one of those top user-friendly games where you can just pick up and play. That's another reason why it's so successful, and because it's everywhere, so I'm guessing, well, well, I know for sure that, like, all these adults are just like, whoa, Angry Birds, let's try this game out. Wow, so simple, so fun, and that's how it became so popular. It's just so successful. It's everywhere. It's not like you're going to see these adults buy like hardcore games maybe like nova 3 or modern combat or infinity blade 2 that's really rare if you were to imagine those guys who like don't play games at all who only play angry birds to buy those games it's kind of weird i guess they're not weird but just doesn't seem likely that's all i have to say about that but yeah that's my thoughts on why angry birds is so successful and that's why i decided to play this game show you guys gameplay of it i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video comment and subscribe and leave me comments below on what games you'd like to see me see or if you would like to see me play more of this game, I only beat the first eight levels, and thanks for watching. Bye.